Today we will discuss that why high voltages are used on long electrical transmission lines. Whenever we come across such long electrical lines with huge electric towers, we learn that voltages of the order of 220 kV, 500 kV, 765 kV or even higher are used on these electrical transmission lines. So today we will discuss about the main reasons behind using such high voltages on these long electrical transmission lines. Here are the main reasons behind using high voltages. Number 1. To reduce power losses in the transmission line. Number 2. To reduce the cost of power transmission. Number 3. To improve the efficiency of the transmission system. Now we will explain each of these reasons in little detail. First of all we come across the reason about the reduction of power losses in the transmission line. We all know the same very simple formula that power is equal to voltage multiplied by current. So, for the same amount of electric power, if we increase the voltage, the current will automatically decrease. So, for the same conductor, high voltage will result in less current and hence less I square R losses as compared to the low voltages. We will explain it with a very simple example. For example, we want to transmit the electric power of 50 megawatt across a distance of 100 km and the resistance per kilometer is 0.1 ohm. So the overall resistance of the transmission line will be 10 ohm. And let's assume the power factor of the transmission line is 0.97 and normally transmission lines have higher power factor as compared to the distribution systems. Now to further explain this example we will consider two cases. In first case we will consider that electrical power is transmitted at a voltage of 132 kV. Now we know that the real power is equal to voltage multiplied by current multiplied by the power factor. So after doing the necessary calculations we come across the value of the current as 390 ampere. And if we calculate the power losses at this value of current we have the power losses as 1.5 megawatt. Now from this case we came to the conclusion that if we use the transmission voltage as 132 kV, the power losses will be 1.5 megawatt. This means that 1.5 megawatt power will be lost if we use the voltage of 132 kV. Now we will come across the case number 2. In the second case, we will consider the power transmission voltage as 220 kV. Now using the same formula for power calculation, the value of current in this case is 234 ampere this current is much lower as compared to the case number one now if we calculate the power losses the power losses in such case is 0.5 megawatt we can clearly see that power losses decreases by almost 300 percent as compared to case number one when we use the voltage of 220 kV as compared to 132 kV we come across the second reason behind using high voltages that is to reduce the cost of power transmission well the capacity of a transmission line is based on the maximum amount of current it can carry. So the size of the conductor increases with increase in the current. So for the same amount of power transmitted, the conductor size will be much smaller with high voltages as compared to low voltages. And this will ultimately result in lowering the cost of the overall transmission line. The third reason behind using the high voltages is that it improves the efficiency of the transmission line. Efficiency of a power transmission is improved by reducing power losses and cost of the conductor and other equipment. So as discussed earlier, electric power transmission at high voltages result in the reduction in power loss as well as conductor cost, ultimately resulting in improving the efficiency of the transmission line. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe our channel for more informative videos and feel free to ask any question in the comment section. Thank you.